be among my amazing friends and friends to, to become and all of you wonderful people out here that are taking your time to watch this video. Thank you for watching this video. Hi. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about a few things. And one of the things, well, the main thing I want to talk about right now is really the earth. Hi, Tori. Um, so we have this, this epidemic going on. We have people being, hi, Johanna, people having to be in their homes. Um, maybe they're used to like right now as, as the weather's turning and it's warming up, we're used to being outside more. We're used to playing in parks and going on bike rides and even the kids, um, this is the time where they're just aching to get out there and explore. And for some of us, uh, we're not doing that. Hi, Tara. Hi, Jackie. Hello, hello. Um, but at the same time, if you guys have been, so there's a lot of noise on Facebook right now. There's a lot of the, you literally just sat under your favorite tree. I love it. We're like this today, you and I. We're like, we're buzzing. Hi, Jackie. Um, so there's a lot of noise on Facebook and I've been asking just to put my attention on the things that are going to create more for me. And what I've been seeing are videos of like dolphins swimming up the canals in Venice of like all of this, um, of like the skies clearing in China of like all of this, this really magical earth stuff showing up and it's been <laughs> it's been really vibrating my very my very being my body like just everything's heightening and, and buzzing and um and so I live in a really amazing area in Canada where I have access to tons of nature every pretty much a window in my home where I look out I'm looking at a mountain or trees and just just down the street there's a beautiful creek and I've done a lot of Facebook lives like walking down the creek and videos um, kind of showing you guys the nature here but what's been so cool is that especially now um, I have to have some kind of conversation but in the last couple of weeks I've Notice, like the magic of the earth actually rising. And part of what I'm seeing with these dolphins uh, swimming down canals, all of these magical things. Shut. And, and so within, you know, all of the upset, the drama, and the of everything that is creating. What if there is convergence going on? This rising of um, possibility and union available to us, even if we're stuck inside. So um, for people in different countries, you've we've been asked to stay inside and kind of a request and some people are choosing it and some people aren't. And other people, they have hefty fines if they're caught outside and, and they have curfews and it's being forced. Um, so for those people, you, you could get that sense of feeling entrapped. And I've heard a lot of people lately say, I have to stay inside as though their choice has been stolen from them. Their power has been taken from them. And what like in power of acknowledging all choices available to us, could we step into? So for one, for me, even if I'm inside all day and some Sometimes I'm just, I'm working away and I'm working so much that I don't have a chance to go out and walk out and be in nature and play in the ways that I'd like to. But no one can keep me from it because I'm an infinite being. So I will just actually like right now, I keep looking out at this beautiful mountain and I can, the energy of me can actually reach out and touch that earth. And those trees and I can start to allow my awareness to actually 
expand through and notice the squirrels, the little creatures, all of the things. And you all have that capacity too. Oh, hi, 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 Kate. <laughs> um, so you all have that capacity too. You all can continue your communion with the earth. You could even, if you dare, amp it up right now during this time of um, staying at home. And, and what if your communion could actually grow with the earth, especially as this rising vibration is showing up, as the earth magic is rising? What if your magic could rise and you could meet each other and engage and see what's possible to contribute to the earth and to receive from the earth, even if you might not be able to touch the earth with your body? Cool. So anything that doesn't allow that. Right and wrong, get it bad, pock and pot, all nine charts, boys young. So those of you that have heard me say that, that's the access conscious clearing statement. Hi, Linda. Um, hi, Mary. And you can get more information on that at theclearingstatement.com if you'd like. And it's just a way of clearing energy. It's clearing the limitations. Because we are taught like that, that like what we see right here is all that there is. But we know that that's not true. Even science shows us that that's not true, that everything is energy. And... And so when you, when you relax and expand out and ask to perceive the earth, what do you notice? Is it more vibrant and alive than it has been in a really long time? That's definitely true for me. It's so, it, when I really tap in, my hands almost start to vibrate. Like it's so palpable for me in my body. It's like more, 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 more. Okay. Ah, yes. How much fun can we have with the earth? And it, coming up in April, it is um, Earth Day, right? April 20th, I think, or 22nd. Somewhere in there, it's Earth Day. And um, I, I've always loved celebrating Earth Day. It's, the Earth has always been something really precious to me, even as a child. Um, not learned, but just was. Um, and, and, and I've been even looking at, at, while being at home with my kids, what, how could I be inviting my kids to engage with the Earth, even if we're not playing outside? And it just got, I share this, but there's, a lot of like some some zoos are are doing Facebook lives so you can engage with the animals there you know and um, and see what's up with them and really be playing more with the earth now than ever hi Linda Tara says yes this tree was literally throbbing it was so flipping cool so Tara where, where she's staying right now in Florida like outside her window, she's shown me there's this like gorgeous tree. It's like an avatar tree, she calls it. And it really is. It has like, it hangs down. It has this sensation of like that, like really vibrant life form within the tree. And so that's what she's talking about. And it was throbbing. And yes, it's like this thrum, this like, it's so, it's so amazing. And, and what if, Part of everything that's going on is actually facilitating more of that for all of us. Hi, Allie. Um, ah, yes. I've had some really cool encounters even in, um, I've been to New Orleans a couple of times and they have these uh, live oak trees. And oh my goodness, it was like, Engaging with those trees was such a different experience um, than I'd ever had before and really actually opened up my awareness to the life force of a tree, really, because it, it communicated to me in a, in a way that I had never allowed before with any other um, nature, I guess. Oh, hi. How's it going? Oh, I'm so happy to be hanging out with you guys. Here a few minutes. Yeah, so what I notice is, so in Canada, 
and other parts of the world do. I know they're not the only places that get snow, but like where I live during winter, everything's covered in snow. And um, if you're not one of the people that ski a lot or snowboard or you do outdoor um, sports, we're often inside a lot. It can get very cold. It's not super comfortable. Um, you know, you go out and play in the snow for a little bit, but you're not spending prolonged periods of time outdoors, at least for me and most of the people that I, I play with. So when spring starts to hit, it's like, this is the time where we're like, finally, like, oh, like the sun on my face. Oh, I can get out there. And, and right now we're being asked not to do that, which is so crazy. And also hi everyone joining we're just talking about earth magic um and also if there was nothing wrong with that if we weren't in judgment of it or resistance if we weren't fighting it what could we be aware of right now and what if that didn't stop us from actually communing with the earth having conversations with the earth engaging with the earth and contributing to this vibration growing like it's going and we can actually be a part of that. <sighs> yeah, 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 right there. <laughs> so part of what I wanted to invite you to, I wanted to talk about earth magic, but I also wanted to invite you to something really cool that me and some people are doing. And it's actually called earth magic. So it is a it's going to be a month long series and we've been creating this like long before we knew that people were going to be quarantined. So it's really interesting that, uh, that it's like where, where you're like, Oh, consciousness, but you're like, timing is so beautiful. When we planned this, we had, we had no cognitive knowing that one, the earth was going to be so loud that two, the bodies were going to require you know, with the earth so much as they do now. And, um, and, and that any of this would be going on. Yet, it seems so beautifully timed to have this creation in existence <laughs> with all of this going on. So we've created these, um, what is it, 30 days. And every day is some kind of either activity question, clearing, um, that engages with the earth. Whether or not you join us on this, I would invite you to choose that in your life in any way that's fun for you. So one thing I've been doing kind of in prep, I like to kind of like uh, play with, with these creations a little bit before I even jump into them. And so every morning we have like a um, five-step process for you to play with. And it's actually, I took the word earth and, and created like an acronym. And I gotta tell you, there's this magician who's on here right now that created these graphics for, for all of us. Hold on, I wanna show you some of this. It's like a little show and tell here for a minute. Look at this. So every day you're gonna get a card that has to do with the earth. And this is your card that we, every morning, so this is the five step process. So every single morning, you wake up in bed, maybe you pick up your phone, I keep going off here, and you take a moment and you expand your awareness of the earth. So we can do that like right now. So just lower your barriers and expand your awareness of the earth. And then ask Earth, what do you require of me today? Whew. Wow. So this doesn't always show up cognitive as as anyone that plays with me knows that I'm not like I'm not big on like let's go do a lot of thought and cognitize everything. I'm much more playing with the energy and the possibility of things. And so when you ask Earth, what do you require of me today? It might just be like, you might just get this sense of energy. Okay, cool, be that. You might get um, to flow something to it. You might get just to 
um, laugh more. Laughter heals the earth. Oh, Tara, they pull in water, the earth, and their roots and create air. I'm talking about the magic of trees right now. Yes, yeah. Um, share gratitude. Maybe it's just having that moment of gratitude with the earth or watching some, like there are videos and movies out there that like have blown my mind of stuff that goes on with the earth that I had no idea about. Um, deep, deep, deep into the oceans, um, uh, within rainforests that I've never ventured this lifetime. Like there's so much to learn and engage with about the earth. It's, <laughs> it's so, it's so cool. Okay. So we expand, we ask, and then R receive. What magic is the earth designed to gift you today? So would you take a moment and actually receive from the earth? Receive with your body, with your very being. And as this magic is rising, this thrumming, this vibration, what more is there to receive than ever before? And when you are willing to receive from something, know that you, you are in that receiving, you are being the acknowledgement that allows it to become greater. And you are at the same time, you can gift to the earth and invite that space of contribution, gifting and receiving at the same time. Okay, so, so that's like one little thing of what we're doing. So every morning, we're going to start with this exercise. It's a five part. I give you three of the five parts. You can play with them whether you ever join us or not. Please, please do because I get that now is the time more than ever for us to be engaging with the earth, to be, to be speaking to her magic <laughs> and, and, and receiving. Okay, so we do that every morning and then, and then there's other things. We're going to have a Zoom call. We all get together. We're going to clear some stuff. We're going to create some stuff. We're going to generate some stuff. Every Thursday, we're going to do an energetic pull. And what that is, is, um, is really kind of allowing our energy to explore different spaces, pull energy, receive energy, flow energy, play with energy. We're just going to do a whole mashup of energy. Every Thursday, I'll get on Facebook Live with you guys in the group, and we're going to go through that and play with that. Um, and then we have these acts exercises and activities for us to do to actually engage with the magic in a different way to engage with the elementals of of the earth to whew, um, to our own capacities our own knowing perceiving receiving and being and to dynamically give to the earth in ways that we've probably never imagined we're possible until now. We have clearings for you. We have inspirations for you. Every day for 30 days, there's something brand new for you regarding the earth. <sighs> and, um, and we are gifting, contributing rather, that's lighter. So um, a portion of the proceeds for this actually are going to a, um, a creation called Forest for Futures, which um, I can put a link in here. It's really about creating a future <laughs> that's never existed here on planet Earth with trees, with forests, with the Earth. Um, and we really got that if we to be in contribution like with this this earth magic program to contribute with force for futures would just amplify what was possible for all of us um so you can learn more about that through the link and uh i actually did a, a really really cool podcast with Vino, venus um castle number yes it's posted somewhere um, and so you can listen to that if you want more details, but I invite you to really, 
really like, especially those days where you feel like you're locked in a box and you're getting really antsy and you've been staring at like just the, the, the walls of your house for a while to just go engage with the earth. You can stand by a window. You can receive the sun on your face. You can look out and it, and if you don't, your view might actually be like a brick wall. You might, and I, and I, I mean this with just a witness that some of us aren't, do not have the luxury of living in an area where we have access to a lot of, um, seeable nature. But what if even that cannot separate you from the earth? What if nothing and no one could ever separate you from the earth. So what could you choose right away <laughs> today that would, that would claim, own, and acknowledge not only your com communion with the earth, but your choice to have more of that your circumstances are. <sighs> yeah. Okay. That's, that's all I got. That's my earth chat for today. I just wanted to, um, to point out what is so, it's so in my face right now, the rising of earth magic to that a little bit louder for all of us to kind of put your attention on the things that you'd like to have more of. So with all of the stuff going on, I mean, I've never seen like Facebook and social media and free online Zooms that I've never seen in my lifetime so much as there is right now. There's so many things for right now. And would you look at, are you putting your attention on things? Are you, are you choosing the things that you want to have more of? in your life and living, like more communion with the earth, more space, more possibility, or are you choosing, choosing to put your attention on the things that, um, you know, kind of stress you out, uh, kind of feed the drama and trauma. You, you almost feel entertained, but you're kind of like not super expanded or joyful. Um, look at what, whatever you put your attention on grows. To the magic of the earth rising, of the possibilities for the earth rising, then we're actually creating that to amplify. We're creating that to grow. So what are you putting your attention on? And what would you like to have more of that you could put your attention on? And, and if it's light at all for you, please come join us. Please come play. I'm so excited. We start April 1st. Um, and that's April. So all through April, we're going to be playing with the earth. And um, special surprise on Earth Day for you all. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here with me, engaging with me. Um, I'm really grateful. <laughs>